Hello, I'm Roger Brisby from Skill Builder and I'm out on site with the lads this week and we're looking at the brick brace safety system. Now, instead of having to use strong boys with all the problems that you've got with overextending strong boys and trying to get them in and then being in the way of the steels, this is a very clever system. You actually just take out the perps, put in the expanding brackets here and then you bolt some ordinary scaffold clips to the wall there and those hook over. So the whole thing is spread from taking the load there across the system it's been tested by structural engineers it's been used in all kinds of difficult projects where you've got several arches over the top of each other places you're taking out walls where you can't needle through and you can't prop so enough of me blabbering on we're going to cut this wall out now i'm not going to do it jose's going to do it because he loves dust and uh, i'm going to clear the cameras out of the way so they don't get fill up so just give us a little minute and then away you go Okay, so that's the lintel in. It was a little bit of a drama as these things often are. Anybody who's had to put steels in, lintels in, that kind of thing, knows that when you're dealing with heavy weights and you're trying to maneuver them in, then it can sometimes get a little bit out of control. But it was okay, got it in. And that really reinforces the idea of using the brick brace because if you're using strong boys in that position and you're trying to maneuver your steel or your lintel in behind the strong boys, sometimes it happens that you turn around you knock one out the way suddenly you've got an unsupported opening so it really reinforces the point of using the brick brace because even if you are using strong, strong boys or you're needling through having that extra security above you even as a belt and braces measure is a really good thing so there are accidents with people propping openings over and overloading strong boys and all that kind of thing and you'd be amazed how many strong boys you're supposed to put in if you check the figures people never put enough in so that's a good idea now i just mentioned this because obviously some of you will be builders watching this but others would be diyers and if you're a diyer and you're putting this kind of lintel in or steel in or whatever don't just pug the top of the brickwork because that cement that sand and cement mortar will shrink even if you put it in there fairly dry you get a little bit of shrinkage and then what happens is you get a hairline gap all the way along the top and eventually that brickwork above will settle down not the end of the world it's only by a millimeter or so but then you'll find that you've got that crack that you've got to deal with so in order to stop that what we do is we put that in put it on a good base put it on concrete pad stones or in this case engineering brick pad stones so it's got a good bearing in it and then what we do is we wedge it with slate say every other brick bit of slate in there you can do it every brick if you want but get some wedges of slate in there so that the thing's nice and tight then when that mortar shrinks back the thing won't drop it's a simple little thing but it makes a big difference so i'm roger bisbee thanks very much for watching don't forget to come back to skill builder soon because we've got loads more coming up good products tools all kinds of innovations lots to see so press that subscribe button and keep up to date